Staples. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Staples. Right. Oh, Staples. Yeah. And then she wants to get you a suitcase. Yeah. Like this. Oh yeah, can I see the good I'll do it, I'll do it. No, I got it, I got it. I got it, I can do it. I hope, I'll carry it. I got it, I got it, I can do it. Do it on it. That is so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, anything that uh, you have to carry around becomes like a trap because you can't go inside or anything to the core, you know? You have to get everything scanned to go in and it has to have no metal, no liquid. Very complicated dish. It was almost a godsend that the. I mean, it's not never a good thing when the sheriffs take all, everything, but it was a godsend in the sense that we only have papers, so we could finally file what for six months every single day was thwarted. So we could just be done with it and evidence would be in and the case could proceed and we don't have to be there. Yeah, I will be able to, because even if it's a shelter, you know, um, whatever it is, the city's going to, yeah, no. has to respond to, you. basically if you call 211, which is what we do, and you make a claim, being a family that's displaced, they have to give you a housing voucher, but the ironic part is, like, we've done that, but the city... Well, what's the voucher? Do they see the voucher? Um, yeah, we never gotten it. We've, we've been approved for it, and we're approved in every single city program. But they actually haven't issued it. This is the thing. So we, our email. Because you don't have an address. No, they send it to you in an email. The oh. city is like discontinuing the very things that they say they're at um, giving out. So under 4118, there's all these rules, and it then is contradicted by the very same um, people a month later saying, "Well, if we run out of these vouchers." or we don't fulfill them, it suddenly won't become illegal to live uh, outside. Because right now it's illegal to actually live on the sidewalk or the street or anything at all. It's 4118, it's no sit, no sleep, no lie. There's very specific rules and they have ordinances in every neighborhood to keep people from, from doing that legally. But they're like, it's, a, it's, it's, it's something that can be handled by going through the disability offices of like the, the Los Angeles Building Department and Safety rather than just going to LASHA, the Los Angeles Homeless Outreach, because they take her disability super seriously that she's being like not um, taken seriously because it's an ADA violation. So I got a lot of result, results before that going that way and I got instantaneous like caseworker and uh, that brought out the entire LASHA sweep the streets program they brought out like there's a video of it on YouTube there's like 40 people that came out to get everyone from the block we were on off and uh, that was amazing and they put them up in this place called the Vig Ness it's a shipping container housing that they built here in downtown LA and it's pretty interesting but she actually rejected it and being paranoid the last second it was like trying really hard to work with whatever we could to get it to happen but wasn't something Alicia wanted to do, which sucks because we were really needed that and we didn't know how badly we would need that. But I can get there, uh, I can get in con contact with the executive director of the Lasha again by tomorrow for sure because I have his business card and the disability office at the building safety and permitting department. You go through the office? Yeah, it's actually right here on the back side of the court, one block away, right next to the promenade yeah. uh, apartments, is the Los Angeles Building and Safety Department. 
and they have a disability office on the first floor on the left and that's where I got all the attention I got before by explaining to them what my wife was going through because she was disappearing to the bathroom for eight hours at a time every single day two times a day it was like I would never see, I didn't see her for a month almost it seemed like and I needed to get her in housing because she was just going through something and there wasn't this consistent bathroom in fact it was a random one that she would never tell anybody where she was going yeah. it's possible that and it's like I feel like you should be seeing like a specialist oh completely agree and I I, I like finally consistent like the same one yeah she I'm needs to use she has to use her primary care doctor and it's a great program at the Chinatown Medicine the lady at the front desk is an incredible intake worker for for getting all the the coordination and even having a free ride there through Uber, but she has to actually physically get in the Uber and leave when it comes because I can I can make sure she, I can put her in it, but she has to actually go out to the car when it comes and like physically get into it. She's pretty good at avoiding it. The primary care doctor is the only one who's going to be able to orchestrate the neurology psychiatrist if she needs one or not and allow it to have a wholeness system like an integrated medicine where it actually does something useful for her rather than just segregate her from her her own you know will to participate but this doctor is uh, the Chantel medicine is really good I was impressed your mom contacted them too and uh what is she seeing there? Like, just a doctor? Or it's like a primary care physician who would be the one who so who makes the referrals. Mm -hmm. He makes the referrals to all the different... I got another one in the month. Like, referred to... She hasn't shown up one time. She won't even show up. But this is the, the best doctor that I've heard so far. And I've talked to him for hours on the phone. He just wants her to show up and do one phone interview for like first show up at the second appointment on time and then take it from there and then he's she's got a medical record that outlines what needs to be done because it's a phone book thick but we've well, when's the next appointment? she hasn't made another one ever since she canceled uh, or didn't show up yes i will why don't you let me know like her appointments and i can just drive her and go with her that'd be cool i work at two so it has to be like early in the morning okay any day during the week. Alright. And just tell me, like, when she needs to go. Yeah, absolutely. And then when they, because they refer to, like, also, like, psychiatrists, they my therapist. Yeah. My yeah. primary care referred me to my therapist I have now. Yeah. You like them? Yeah, she's cool. Um, I'm gonna find a new one, though. She's not bad, I just want someone more, like, direct. How long is the session? Like, um, Huh? How long is the session? An hour. Mm -hmm. It actually was really helpful. It made me like kind of separate myself from like my dad for a while and like process things that have happened when I was like younger, mm -hmm. like family and set boundaries with people. Yeah. I never knew how to like do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like to, to myself more because I feel like I was a big people pleaser. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. It's really I agree. I I had eight years of psychiatry and I thought it was incredibly useful. Yeah. And I didn't necessarily need it. It was just my family all drank. I never drank, but I smoked weed for a long time. And then there was an argument at a dinner one time between everyone in my family. And my sister-in-law said, if you guys want to keep us in the family, you'll all go see it. And so I stuck with him for eight years because it was so interesting to, to learn from, you know you learn from yourself but he's not your friend he's a doctor I mean yeah but they're there to help you be in a microcosm yeah and he was teaching mostly executive functioning skills for communication for like how to navigate like you want to pull up in front
basically, I don't know if it's ironic or not, but Los Angeles Apparel, the American Apparel Rebuild Company, they've told, they've told, um, Dove told me that he would be willing to let Elise work there, even with her disabilities, like, regardless, because she was such a good pattern cutter when she worked there in 2016. That's pretty cool. Apparel? Yeah, his Los Angeles Apparel is his. He he lost American Apparel, yeah. and then he started a new company called LA Apparel, which is. Yeah, I know. No, they that was billboard and boy high. It's just random. Yeah. Because like, I think the one they really care. It's in South Central mostly the whole thing. Yeah, but they don't even have a store. What they are is private label. They built. They make the Army, yeah. Diesel, APC, you know, fifty other private label companies. They build all their clothes. Yeah, sure. Um, oh yeah, it's on Figueroa. Um, uh, uh, I think it's the other way. Okay, right turn, right, uh, right. Yeah, what? Whatever she said. Is that Mr. Huh? No, it's a lot staple. It's on Figueroa by uh, Target, I think. Okay, sorry. Huh? Yeah. Um, as I was an animal, uh, vet that you go to? Where? Uh, Highland Park. Where is it? Highland Park Animal Hospital. Isn't that the one that Trick went to? And he got rid of? I wonder if you should go to that same one and do it. Because they already have a record there. What happens when like um ear, the cat ears tip like the tips of the ears are cold? Very, very close though. It's fun to say a second. Yeah, 
Oh, uh, this building right here on the left, this hotel, that's where all the that's where they put all the homeless people in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. That one, the one right there. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful view. The L.A. Grand. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, but they they basically ended the program. It's called Project Room Key, and so people are getting thrown to the street like right now who are in there. We were there on the day they shut the program down, I guess. So we got directed to go there. They're slowly kicking out everybody, but mostly in really messed up ways, like people with lupus, like in wheelchairs, or they're shoved out and left in the sun to fry and like bake in their pain because lupus is affected by the sun. They're They'll take their batteries from their wheelchairs, like shit you'd never imagine. Just like trying to kill people. It's like a, it's probably one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life was actually what was happening outside of the LA Grand. It's like, it's a fentanyl epidemic of like, of seniors that are homeless. Times the the worst disability abuse I've ever seen in my life, or elder abuse. I mean, yeah. wow, this is like a really like um, big cinematic, like very LA scene right here. The freeway, the one ten freeway, yeah. with, the, with the sun like hitting the street. Uh, you go back down Beaudry on the other side. You can look down at all this as you go by, which is where uh, Bart. Remember Bart? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where he's at. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I like this little light. Avatar! I was just thinking about that movie.
That's cool. We're in like the UC USC area. You know. Yeah. So we need money for housing in Jaipur. We should use the motorcycle um, suit to like summary judgment to get the full amount of the bike back. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Because that could be done in like. I found the causes of action and then complaints for that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's like a mechanic uh, fraud, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so, yeah, yeah, for fraudulent sale of motor vehicles. You didn't sell me a motor vehicle, fraudulent sale of mechanics work. Uh, loss and negligence of parts and service and mishandling of the vehicle. Well, here it is, USC. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen a front of Billy. I know this cool. Wow. What, what kind of study? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. How'd you sign up for that? I've been here a whole bunch of times. Like, the motorcycle. It's a national <laughs> Elix. Whoa. He's cool. He's a bike guy. Oh. He's down below too. <laughs> on, the, on the wall. Oh, cool. I mean, honestly, the, the court fees for our 2828 could afford even his his apartment at uh, Apex. Uh, the court fees? Oh, yeah, yeah. The court fees for 2828 in the world. I understand. It doesn't change anything. We have to do it. Understanding is not half the battle. Action is half the battle. Then failing is another part of it, and then succeeding again after failing is... I expect that will happen to us, and we will probably go through that process to make it work, you know? starting from scratch, why do I do anything? I'm not doing like research. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, got, like copying the complaints from a template. I understand. Yeah, yeah, interacting with you for sure. I'm actually listening to what I'm saying for real. I, uh, I do listen to you for real.
love how patriotic, huh? Uh, in the lobby of where we're staying at is that building, this image right here, where we're driving by. Oh, cool. Of the Kawada Hotel. It's just fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's crazy. I was wondering why it was pointing this out. Probably the same architect or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, Yvonne. And the flagpoles. Oh, I see. This is an old building. This is a very old building. You went to the across the this is like what I needed to see and you chose the place that I needed to see. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I went the wrong way too so we would have seen it if mom didn't make the turn. Yeah. I mean we would have seen it that way. You're right. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I should also have that last night. You see it is very patriotic. Oh, what is that? I don't know. What does that even mean? I don't know. The halls are patriotic now? Bob Hope patriotic. Oh yeah, you would have seen it last night. I love office supplies. Me too. I love like so cool. Like, well, this feels like like San Francisco a little bit. I don't remember those staples. You know what's a great store? Paper mm -hmm. stores. Have you been? I love paper stores. Which ones are you talking about? 